Welcome to the Now I'm Ashley Jenkins. And I'm Bernie Burns. Strapping expensive pieces of plastic to your face and then calling it VR is the latest trend in gaming and everyone is rushing to join the goofy, super expensive party. With Microsoft's new virtual reality capable console, Xbox Scorpio, or Xbox Scarpino, as we call it in San Francisco. No, we don't. Coming sometime we don't next call year. It that. Everyone's been wondering when and how Microsoft plans to join the VR headset world, you know, with something a little bit more consumer friendly than the $3,000 AR focused HoloLens. Well, just the dev Which is kit awesome. That's $3,000. It's worth it. Well, it is pretty awesome. Uh, judging from a new announcement of VR headsets, it looks like we might finally have an answer and a glimpse at how Microsoft intends to bring VR to Xbox Scorpio next year at an even cheaper price point than PlayStation VR. Even cheaper? Like even cheaper! Viewmaster with Velcro attached It only to costs it. half a console. This VR announcement came from Microsoft's Surface event, which took place yesterday. Before they started talking about VR, Microsoft debuted a ridiculously expensive, but also awesome, $3,000 Surface Studio PC. You can spend, take all that money you save on VR and put it into this PC. It goes like this. Come on. And unleashed a bunch of new updates for Windows 10, namely the upcoming Creators Update in Spring 2017, which will bring a number of gaming-related features to Windows 10, like streaming and the ability to organize tournaments with your friends. And at some point, games. Microsoft also That'll unveiled some less exciting features like a new version of Windows Paint, now with 3D, and 3D updates to PowerPoint. Then there was the weird and kind of cool stuff like the ability to scan real world objects on your phone and have them visualized in 3D on your PC. But I don't know, I'm still waiting for my Kinect skateboard. Did you see the dial thing? That was so cool. Finally, we'll get dick scans on Windows 10. It's gonna 3D revolutionize dick, dick pics. But following all that, one of the highlights of the event came with the announcement of a new line of Windows 10 enabled virtual reality headsets. Here we go, this is the meat. These headsets will be produced in conjunction with HP, Dell, Asus, Acer, and Lenovo. Hopefully, minus the spyware. Ouch. The most interesting part of the reveal, though, is that all these will be the first commercially available headsets to use inside-out tracking, which means they won't require any external sensors or cameras, well, which is kind of what they've announced great. for the Oculus Santa Cruz, except that sounds further out. Also, by the way, kind of the way that HoloLens works. That's a pretty big deal because it cuts back on two of virtual reality's biggest problems in terms of accessibility. Price, since external sensors and cameras add to the cost of a VR system, and setup, as the additional sensors typically require more installation and calibration than simply plugging your headset in and getting started. And I might even argue, what would you argue? Portability would be another option. Yeah, that too, although that really demands wirelessness. -ness. I'm standing by my statement. As for how much the inside-out tracking affects the price, Microsoft said that these new headsets will start as low as $299, making them a fair bit cheaper than the most notable competition, PlayStation VR. At the moment, PlayStation VR clocks in at $399, and that's before you add some of the external pieces like the Move controllers and the PlayStation camera. We paid 500 bucks for ours. Well, yeah, but ours came with all that extra stuff and a game, those like five games. Bundle. Inside-out tracking has been seen as sort of the holy grail of virtual reality for the last few years now. Even Oculus's new, newly announced system, Santa Cruz headsets, will feature an inside-out tracking system of some kind, although the headset will be wireless. So you're talking about portability? There we go. Well, let's, it's, this is coming out. We're, we'll see what Santa Cruz has to offer. At the moment, this new line from Microsoft and partners is still tethered, slightly less portable. According to Microsoft, these still unnamed headsets will offer a six degree of freedom tracking for your head. However, no motion controllers announced at this time means that it will lack in certain areas compared to other headsets on the market. While there wasn't specific... Or maybe they'll just add Kinect. Everyone wants that, right? Yeah, I can't get enough Kinect. I wanna play games like this. Now you'll be blindfolded while you're playing games. When you like can this. actually like see the game, like this could be a thing, right? If you, if your hands are projected in the game and so it actually, seems like you're touching the stuff rather than staring at a TV screen and feeling like like a puppeteer, I would be way cooler. You just described Vive. While there wasn't specific mention of how this would translate to gaming at the event, most of the demos focused on paint and other features in the creator's update. This does give us a peek at what Microsoft could do with Scorpio. They've confirmed that VR is a big focus for the platform, but as of now haven't detailed whether they'll work with an existing manufacturer like Oculus, potentially, or develop their own proprietary headset, similar to how Sony has created PlayStation VR, for example. But now that we've seen these Windows 10 focused headsets, not a stretch at all to imagine that we could be looking at the primary VR option for Scorpio, and it's 
from any of their manufacturers. Well, there is a movement by Microsoft to have everything playable across everything. Hopefully that applies to hardware now as well. Not having motion controller capabilities would definitely limit the number of experiences that you could port to Xbox Scorpio. However, the earliest iterations of Oculus Rift were no different. And to be fair, not that many experiences on PlayStation VR so far even offer much in the way of additional tracking beyond basic head tracking. And kind of subpar move controller tracking. So with a regular Xbox One controller and inside out tracking, you could still replicate a great deal of VR experiences or translate existing games to virtual reality. Simple head movement and a controller would actually work really well for most games as they exist today. But again, it's simple. It's simple-ish. But again, this is the earliest iteration of the headset. It's always possible that Microsoft could add an external sensor and a motion peripheral at some point, but they did seem really adamant in their presentation that sensorless VR is the way of the future. So who knows, maybe they'll allow some of you to dust off your connects if Do you it. really want that type Do of experience. It. You can talk to it and everything. Come on, she's Connect is lonely. Yeah, it is. <laughs> of course, that's assuming that this is the uh, Scorpio VR headset at all. While the price point of $299 would certainly be advantageous for Microsoft over their rival's headset, there's also the possibility that Microsoft could go another direction entirely for console. Considering they haven't officially made ties to any particular headset for Scorpio, we might be looking at a scenario where Microsoft wants Windows 10 to be an open VR platform, meaning Scorpio could be headset agnostic, supporting a number of different devices from around the market. Or they'll just have a fight club. Or they'll just have their own proprietary <laughs> one. Yeah, so keeping it open would certainly help position them better than Sony in that regard as well. It would make sense when you add that to their current Play Anywhere initiative. One headset that works whether you're on Scorpio or your home PC would definitely give them a leg up since PlayStation VR is only usable on one platform. And I mean, frankly, so are Oculus and Vive at this point. You can only have them in their native ecosystem. And since this is supposed to be a whole new line of Windows 10 headsets, they'd have a range of options at different price points. And that would actually fit with their new modular approach to consoles as well, with all of them being backward and forward compatible with each other. You'd essentially be able to mix and match headsets and consoles. It's Wouldn't like that be like a hardware orgy. Yeah. All right. Unfortunately, for those who were hoping to get more about Scorpio itself at yesterday's event, Microsoft didn't really deliver on that front, although we have had just a tiny bit of news about it throughout the week. They, just, they were too much. busy with the with the studio. That was too Waggling cool. Waggling everything. Did you see the dial? It for one, dial. Microsoft updated their Project Scorpio landing page with a bit more of the trash talk they've been engaging in lately against Sony. The new version of the site now calls Scorpio, quote, the first and only console to enable true 4K gaming and high fidelity VR, a, end quote. A not so subtle shot at the PS4 Pro and PlayStation VR all at the same time. Yeah, Xbox boss Phil Spencer also provided a slight update on Scorpio this week via Twitter, where he wrote that the console is making amazing progress, and we are feeling good about the schedule. Feeling good about the schedule. That's... Bookmark this video. Yeah. Hopefully come, all Come back those, and see if there's a delay. All those feel-good updates about the system's progress will translate into actual news about the system sooner rather than later. In addition to not knowing much about how they plan to integrate VR, although we probably have some good hints after yesterday's announcements, we also don't know much about its price, design, specs, or any kind of actual release date. Gosh, it's like the Nintendo NX all over again, but minus the goofy patents. What do you guys think of Microsoft unveiling Windows 10 VR headsets? Would you be excited if Scorpio VR featured no external sensors and you could just pick whichever headset you want? Let us know in the comments. For future updates on the Xbox Scarpino, like this video and subscribe to the No. Stop trying to make Scarpino happen. It's never going to happen. Shout out to Nick. Yeah, I recorded some lines with him today. <laughs>